Hello everybody, how are you? This is Andrea and in today's video I want to share with you part 1 of my new illustration series called Girls in Sunglasses. The initial sketch was done on my iPad Pro using Procreate. I think I mentioned this before but I really really enjoy sketching on the iPad. It is just so much fun and addictive. So yeah, this is the first out of the three girls that I will be drawing and each will have its distinct color scheme. This one will be pink, the second one will be turquoise and the third one will be yellow. Today we will work on the pink version, so let's begin. The first step after completing the sketch is to export it as a JPEG file and send it to my laptop. There I scale it and resize it to the preferred size and then I print it on regular copy paper. Then once that is done I grab my watercolor paper to trace the sketch onto it. If you remember last time I was using a light box for the tracing but this time I will use some graphite paper to transfer the sketch. It is just a little bit too bright at the moment so even with a really good light box I can't seem to be seeing the sketch very well under the paper. If you've never used transfer paper before, it is super simple. Just cut a piece as big as your illustration and sandwich it between the watercolor paper and the printed illustration. So then all you have to do is redraw the line work to have it appear onto the watercolor paper. I suggest using a pen or pencil that can be easily seen on the printed paper. That way you can track which sections have already been transferred and which ones you still have to draw on top of. At first I used a yellow pencil but yellow on top of black ink did not show up too well. So then I switched to purple to make it a bit easier. And here is the result. Next, I want to define the line work a bit more, so I grab a pink pencil to do that. Once I am happy, I tape the paper onto the board and decide which watercolors I want to use. Today I will use three palettes from three different brands. I mean, why not? They are all so, so gorgeous. So I've decided to use the Toes in the Sand palette from Rachel Beth to paint the skin tone, then the Prima Pastel Dreams palette to do the hair, and then last but not least I will be using Jane Davenport's palette for the super vibrant pink which I will need to do the line work and the pink leafy accents. A 
Okay, I think we're ready to begin coloring. Let's do this. I am using a pink Copic multiliner to draw some of the details, but I wasn't really happy with the vibrancy of the color, and later on you will see me redrawing these same sections again with paint. Painting the line work in this almost neon pink was so much fun.
the illustration is almost done. Time to peel off the masking tape and then I just briefly touch up a couple of details with some pencils. Here is the final result. I really hope that you've enjoyed watching this whole process. The original illustration should be up for grabs on my Etsy store and I will also have the prints available for sale too. You can find links to both in the description box as per usual. And before I go, to give you a quick sneak peek into the next part, here is the second girl. She will be the turquoise girl with the blue sunglasses, so expect to see a video about her very soon. Well, this is all I have for today. Thank you so much for watching, take care and I will talk to you again very soon. Bye!